Halt! By order of the Imperial Guard. Forgive me, miss. I've received reports of a suspicious cloaked figure wandering through the marketplace. Theft has been on the rise, so you'll forgive me if I ask you to identify yourself. <laughs> really? That's the fake name you chose? Ah, of course. I already know who you are. Don't look so shocked, Princess. It's my job to protect you. <sighs> I don't know how you escaped from the castle, but I've come to take you back. No, don't start. Do you have any idea how worried I was? Princess, we thought you'd been kidnapped, or you were long dead in a dungeon somewhere. The Queen was worried sick. The King panicked, and, and I... You don't understand. It's my job. Yeah. But Princess, I've known you for the past three years. I've seen you overcome hardships and grow into an intelligent, beautiful young woman. When I heard you were gone, I... Come. We mustn't tarry. What? What do you mean, no? Princess, I wasn't offering you a choice. Don't try to order me. Your father outranks you, and he insists that you return. Now. Your Highness, please. Don't make that face. You must know that my hands are tied here. Besides, you were the one who thought it was a smart idea to escape from your chamber. I'm not being cruel. You know how important you are to this kingdom. You are the crown princess, the sole heir. To understand how many people would love to get their hands on you, to hold you hostage, or hurt you, kill you. Your own life is not for you alone, princess. As much as you wish to be someone else, it will never be. You must face reality. <sighs> Don't cry. I apologise. I said things I shouldn't have. <laughs> Please, forgive me. Oh no. I know it wasn't your intent to cause such chaos. I spoke without thinking. I understand. You wish to be freed from the confines of the crown. If only for a moment. Listen. What if I... escorted you? That way, you'll be able to explore while still being safe. But only for a little bit, understand? Then we must return. Okay. Take my hand. There's a lot of people in town for the festival, and I don't want to separate it in the crown. Keep your hood up. Here, let me help. There we go. All right, let's go. It's quite lively. We're celebrating the good harvest, after all. All the specialty merchants travel to the capital to celebrate. Me? <laughs> me? Oh, well, I haven't been to this festival in years. My training kept me quite busy, and once I was designated as your personal guard, I had to stay by your side. <laughs> no. No, don't apologise. I wanted to be your personal guard. I fought for the honour. Why? Well, it's the most prestigious position, of course. Huh? Oh, yeah, the plaza's always cleared for dancing. Uh, folk dances, mostly. Nothing like the balls you attend. Hey, where are you? Dance? Do I know how to dance? I mean, I do, but... Whoa. <laughs> Wait! I don't know if I should dance with you. I mean, it's not proper. Okay. Okay. One dance. All right. Uh, you know this one? <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> All right. May I have this dance then, my lady? step on you. Oh, no. I'm 
I'm so sorry. This is why we shouldn't... You're fine. You're too kind. dance beautifully. I mean, I know you would, but uh, folk dances are more lively. Again, I'm sorry. I messed up. Uh, listen, we, we should go. The other guards are sure to be looking for you. Your parents need to see you. Uh, this way. Uh, quick. If they see you, we will both be in huge trouble. Dead end. They're almost here. Do you trust me? Listen, princess. Do you trust me? Okay, then hold still. No matter what happens, don't move. I saw no other way of hiding you than blocking the view. I will accept whatever punishment you see fit for stealing a kiss from you. Wait, wait. We can't do this. Your Highness, you are a noble, and I'm not. I understand you want to be a commoner for a day, but, but you're not... Pretending like this will only hurt you. What did you say? No. You don't mean that. You can't. Princess. You can't love me. S stop saying that. Please. I beg of you. Because if you tell me you love me one more time, I don't think I'll be able to deny you. Yes. I do love you. I love you from afar. But for you to love me, I, I scarcely believe it. Oh, kiss you again. Is that an order, Your Highness? A personal request. All right then. But then we must return. This won't be a fairy tale. You know that right. Your family will never approve. They wish for you to marry a prince. Someone worthy of your status. And no, I'm not a prince. I've done nothing of note. Never went on a quest or fought in a war. I'm a highly trained knight. But all I've ever wished to do is be by your side. If I left and became someone... No. I don't ever want to leave you. I lost you for a few hours, and it felt like the world was ending. You... You must never do that again. Swear to me. Okay. Good. Now, I must insist we return. I oh, know, I oh, know. It was a nice diversion. Here. Hold my hand. Don't let go. Good evening, Your Highness. No, I'm not surprised per se. Just, uh, really? Really, Your Highness? You're going to sneak off in the middle of the night? Tonight, of all nights. You really don't think that I would have already anticipated that? I mean, I'll admit, you almost got me with a servant dressed in your clothes. But come on, I know you. 
I know all your tricks. And this one, sadly, is not going to work out. So, come on. Back to your chamber you go. I'm quite serious, actually. Move. Now. What did I say about that look? Honestly. You act more like a petulant child rather than a noble princess. What were the princes gathered tonight for your ball, say, if they saw you right now? Yes, I'm aware. However, dear princess, there is such a thing as duty, and duty dictates that you attend this ball, that you find a husband among these princes, and you... Well, you know. So, chop chop, let's get this cloak off and call the mates to touch up your hair. Uh, no, we mustn't. Not now. Please, don't look at me like that. I told you, this wasn't a fairy tale. Whatever this is between us, it cannot last. We both know that. Please, don't make this any harder than it has to be. As much as I love care for you, this cannot go any further. The line needs to be drawn, and the ball tonight will serve as that. So, I hope... Yes. Yes, I want to end things now. Between us. I am serious. I've thought this through. I've examined every possibility, and it ends in despair for us both. It is better to end things now, while the feelings are still somewhat new. You're... you're mad. At me? Wh whatever for? Cruel? You think me cruel and unfeeling? I'm not a suit of iron, princess. My heart is flesh and blood. What you view as cruel is necessary. We cannot continue this flirtation. If you won't stop it, I will. One of us has to be prudent here. You don't understand what this little fling will cost us both in the long run. Of course I care for you. Gods above. It's because I care for you that I'm making you do this. You think I want to watch you to... Be wooed by foolhardy princes that simply view you as a jewel to add to the collection, like a ring on the finger. No. I want to be the only one allowed to touch you. I want to be the only one allowed to make you laugh or smile. I want you. But if you don't intend, if your father and mother find, find out about us, do you know what will happen? You'll be forced to marry. You won't have any choice in the matter. And I'll? Well, I'll probably be exiled. Or killed. It's... It's hard to tell sometimes with your parents. <laughs> it's not that I don't think you're worth the risk. You are. If it were only more well-being at stake, I would do anything to secure your hand. I'd fight off 100 princes if it meant you being mine. It's just, if you were to suffer any misfortune because of me, I, I would never forgive myself. You, you haunt my dreams, my love. And during the day, I long to simply be by your side. You've consumed me, body and soul. But, as much as I would love to declare my intentions to court you, against all odds, I cannot risk the backlash you would face. At least this way, you can choose your partner still. It may not seem like it now, but in time, love could grow. Oh no. Oh no, you love me. Hmm. And I. I love you. Most ardently. With every single fibre of my being. But it's a forbidden love. 
and it has to end tonight. Please, don't make this harder than it has to be. At least this way, I can still see you. I can still be a part of your life. And though it will be painful, surely the pain will fade. It will, because I'm going to be gone for a few months. I've, I've taken on a quest. It will take me to the forests of the south. Yes, those forests. We are to clear out the creatures there. I'll leave in the morning. No. I will not. I've set my mind on this. Distance will be better for the both of us. I'm sorry. Please, forgive me. But one day, I hope you'll see that I did this for you. But, even if you don't, as long as you're unharmed, that's all I can ever ask for. Farewell, Your Highness. Night, Captain. Sir, I've come to report on the East Quadrant. Yes, sir. Myself and another group infiltrated the den of the creatures. No casualties. No, there were a few injuries. Luckily, we had a healer in our party. The den has been cleared, and the enchantments performed to keep the area safe and free from monsters. Thank you, sir. If that will be all, then please... Sir? Uh, uh, yes, sir, that's correct. I was stationed there before. No, I didn't have prior field work. I battled for my spot. Yes, that's how I got my scar on my arm. It was a bit too slow during combat training. The night commander didn't halt his swing. We used real blades at the training grounds there. Not the wooden swords the new recruits use. We had to become the best of the best. Not the wouldn't flinch, wouldn't falter, no matter what came our way. All that mattered was defending the capital and the royal family. <sighs> it sounds horrible when I put it like that, but I wasn't forced into this life. I chose it, just like I'm sure you did. I did serve as Her Highness's personal guard for a bit. She's, um, interesting. Uh, and somewhat infuriating, uh, but in a good way. <laughs> I suppose. Ah, you heard that. Yes, it's true. She's quite the escape artist. Uh, she's clever, too. She never tries the same scheme twice. But when it comes down to it, she never shirked her duty. She is, uh, She's fascinating. You can't quite explain it. And she looks at you. Uh, really looks at you. It's like you're the only person in the world. She doesn't act like she's superior to anyone. If she spilled the tea, she would apologise. She would get grass stains on her skirts, because she insisted on tending the garden herself. I remember Her Majesty lecturing her daily about propriety, and how Her Highness needed to be a proper princess. <laughs> uh, if she would just smile. That's what's the most remarkable about her. Uh, her smile... Is warmer than the sun in summer, and when it rests on you. <clears throat> She's an amazing person, sir. Yes, I was there for many years. I left a month ago, as you know, and uh, last I heard, Rogers was her new personal knight. From my understanding, he served under you. Mm. He's a good man. A bit too sarcastic for my liking, but... I'm sure Her Highness will enjoy that. Uh, no. 
I chose to leave. It was for the best. I wish to be of help elsewhere. I, uh, I had my reasons, sir, and I would ask you to respect my choices. Thank you. Ah, a messenger. If you'll excuse me. Of course, sir. I can read the dispatch if you wish. That's, uh... Ah. It's from the Capitol Guard, sir. There's... There's been an attack on the Capitol. The palace itself. There are casualties. Both the King and Queen have been hurt. Oh, though not gravely. And the Princess is... She's missing. Oh, God. How is this possible? She was supposed to be safe there. It's the safest place. It is guards and magicians and... Oh, God. She must be so scared. She always acts so strong. But I've seen her break down before. I've seen her collapse in grief after finding out that a soldier died to protect her. She's supposed to be so strong and noble. But she's human, like you and me. And she's alone. She's alone. And maybe hurt and... <clears throat> Forgive me, sir. My emotions seem to be getting the better of me. There is a request at the bottom of the note for assistance. To send any troops that we can spare as quickly as we can. Sir, I need to go. I'll ride ahead and... Yes. Thank you. The horses should be well rested. I'll send word as soon as I get there. Sir? Yes. I'll find her. I swear it. Easy, easy. It's me. It's just me. I've got you. It's okay. Shh. Listen, we're not out of here yet. I need you to focus. Eyes on me. Are you too hurt to walk? Uh, reinforcements aren't far behind me, but I don't want to risk leaving you here for another moment, especially with all the cuts and bruises on you. Can you walk? Can you move? Uh, a little? Okay. Okay. Lean on me. I've got you. You're gonna be okay. I took out a few of them, but I'll admit I don't have enough intel to know what I'm dealing with. What? Hey, are you sure? Can't sit back. I thought they were defeated years ago. No wonder they were able to attack the castle and take you. If they were led by your uncle... Easy. Easy. I need you to focus. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, love. It hurts. But we've got to get out of here before anyone else notices that you're gone. No. Don't say that. I'm here now. I'm not going anywhere. I mean... I'll leave for a month, and you get yourself kidnapped. You just can't stay out of trouble, can you? Your Highness, no, don't go limp on me. Come on, I need you to help me. I need you to move. I promise you, they will pay for every ounce of blood they spilled. But, until we get out of here, I need you to keep moving. That's it. One foot in front of the other. Then you can sleep and tease me and plan your next escape attempt. <laughs> yeah, I bet you'll figure out a new one. Just don't try the kitchen route again. The kitchen still smells like smoke. Good. Look, we just have to get out of this base and then the King's Guard will find us. You'll be safe, I swear. Hold still. Listen, listen, you need 
to stay here. Don't move. Don't move. And if something happens to me, run. Don't look back. I'll mean it. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Shh. Okay. Stay here. I'll be back. Looking for someone? Sense now. Right. Your Highness, it's safe. No, I'm fine. We need to go. Now. They'll notice without checking. We've got to move faster. I know. I know it hurts. I'm sorry. None of this should have happened. None of this would have happened. If I just stay with you. Easy, easy. I've got you. We're almost there, okay? Just keep your eyes open. Focus on my voice. I've got you. Look. There. We're out. <clears throat> See? We're gonna be okay. No. No, no, no. Eyes open. Open. Love. Please. Please. Open your eyes. There you are. Stay with me. There'll be a healer coming. They'll fix you right up. And then you can yell at me. <laughs> or try to escape. Or do whatever you want. No. Don't say that, because I love you too, and you're going to be fine, okay? You'll be fine, and then you can tell me that all you want, so don't say it now. Yes, I love you. I was lying before. I thought I could just leave and be okay. Hey, 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 easy. Look, I'll tell you as much as you want to hear it. Just stay awake. Oh, I love you. I want to be with you. As long as you love me. No. No, 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 no. This wasn't your fault. It was mine. But it's not too late, okay? I need you to stay with me just a bit more, okay? Oh no. Oh no. I have to put pressure on it. I'm sorry. What? No. I'm fine. I'm not crying. You're probably concussed and half conscious. Yeah, your highness. Love. Hey, hey, hey. Wake up. Open your eyes. No, 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 no. This isn't happening. It can't be. Wake up. Wake up. We're here! Over, we're over here! Please, she needs your help. No, no don't, don't worry about me. I'm fine. She needs your help. Please, save her. She'll be, she'll be okay, right? Right? Okay. Okay. Your Highness, I'll be right behind you. It's gonna be okay, I promise. Not Captain. Yes, I can give a report, sir. It was the King's brother. Yes, sir, the King's brother, I'm certain. Uh, who else could have managed this? Please, can I go? I need to be with her. 
Thank you, sir. Lord Captain, sir, do you have an update? I haven't been allowed to enter the medical wing since we returned. Uh, yes, sir. I will not deny anything. I uh, am in love with Her Highness. I am willing to accept whatever consequences that may come. I only ask that I get to see her before consequences that their majesty see fit. She's alive. But... But... But what, sir? Unconscious. Still. Please, can I see her? I need to see her. If only for a second. His Majesty. He's coming here. Oh. I greet the King of our noble kingdom. Your Majesty, I can... Yes, sire. It is true. I'm in love with Her Highness. We've been in a relationship that I tried to end when I left my work here. But I realise now that was a mistake. Sire, I know that I'm not worthy of her. <laughs> no one is. But I love her, and I should have been here to protect her and all of you. I never should have run from my feelings. I believe she feels the same, but I, I confess that I don't know for sure, which I just want to be by her side for as long as she wishes. I know you could exile me. It would be within your right, but I love her and I will fight to be by her side. Sire, thank you, truly, I will go now. He approves, I can't believe this. If she wasn't hurt, I'd be thrilled by the King's permission. She just needs to wake up. Once she wakes up, it'll all be okay. Your Highness, how is she? That close, huh? Thank you, but I'll take watch if that's all right with you. Thank you. Your Highness, can you hear me? I'm here. I'm sorry. This is all my fault. I know you would deny that, but the fact remains, if I hadn't left you, if I had been with you, if I'd stayed, none of this would have happened. <laughs> you drive me crazy, you know that? <sighs> when I first met you, the escape artist princess, <laughs> I was so annoyed. I chased you from one end of the palace grounds to the other. And even then, you were still coming up with new schemes. <laughs> I swore your one purpose in life seemed to be to annoy me. <laughs> I even thought about transferring. Do you know what changed my mind? 
It was six months after I started. You were hiding from Her Majesty. Some uh, nonsense about a dress fitting or a, a dance lesson. Uh, I can't remember exactly. I was just going from the training grounds to the stables when I saw you there. You were sitting in the dirt and one of the barn cats was with you with her kittens. You knew the cat. You knew her kittens too. And judging by the way they played with you, it must not have been your first time there. You met my gaze and... Uh, I'll never forget this. You winked at me, placing a finger on your lips. Our first secret. Uh, I'm not sure how, but after that day, I somehow became your partner in crime. I looked the other way sometimes, while following you from a safe distance. You fascinated me, and somehow, before I even knew it, I loved you. I wanted to deny it, but I mean, we'd only known each other for so long. Uh, I justified to myself why it was a horrible idea, but I couldn't just stop falling more and even more for you. <sighs> Listen to me. You need to wake up. This sleeping beauty routine. <laughs> yes, I've heard the stories. Liz, I'm not a fan. I want you to wake up so you can yell at me. Tell me what an idiot I am. And I need to see your beautiful eyes. And, and now, your father has given his permission. I don't know if he'll mean it when you're, once you're awake, but <laughs> I'll take it. Even if he didn't, I would fight for you. I'm not running anymore. I'm here. I'll stay here for as long as you want me to. So, wake up. Open those eyes. Please. Your Highness. Are you awake? Thank the God. What? I'm not crying. You just... Okay. I am. I'm so relieved. Listen, I love you. I do, most ardently. Oh, good, good. No, no, it's okay. Rest. I'll fetch the doctor. No. Love, I'm not running. Not anymore. I honestly have no words, Your Highness. Well, no. I suppose that's not quite right. <laughs> Infuriated might be one. If you weren't still recovering from your injuries, I'd drag you back and lock you in your chamber myself. As it stands right now, I may still do that. <laughs> no. Love, don't tease me. Don't say anything else. I'm not amused by this. Not one bit. Enough of this, Your Highness. It's time to go back. No escape attempts tonight. Thank you very much. Or, and here's a crazy thought, maybe you could just stop escaping altogether. Hmm. I wonder... Why would I be upset to find my injured lover missing from their bed? I wonder what kind of thoughts might have come rushing through my mind. 
what do you think, love? Yes. I almost lost you once. That was more than enough for one lifetime. No. No more words. No excuses. Take my hand. Let's go. Now, if you don't mind. What? What could you possibly have to say? Whatever it is, you can tell me once we're inside the palace walls. What are you doing? Why are you down on one knee? <laughs> Marriage. You want to marry me? You're serious? We've barely even been courting. Your father only gave his permission not even a full week ago. You could wake up one day and find that I'm annoying and horrible. You could fall out of love with me. Marriage is forever, your highness. Well, maybe not for some people, but for you. For the kingdom, it is your choice of partner. I'm not lecturing. I'm not trying to, anyways. I'm just... Marriage. You're serious? Yes. Of course. Yes. <laughs> Love, don't cry. As rapid it is, I hope. <laughs> what? Really? Of course I want to. I want to spend my life with you. Those are not words I mutter idly. You are the only one who has ever made me feel that way. You are the one I truly care for. Say the word, love, and I'll follow you. To the end of the world. No, no. I... I'm just afraid that this is all a dream. <laughs> no, I suppose it is too real to be a dream. So... What now? Enjoy the moment. <laughs> Very well. But then, my love, we must return. No, I won't. We must return so that we can tell your parents the good news. <laughs> I love you. I'll always love you. <laughs> 